the channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to use Foxtel hands-free. All you need is a Google Chromecast and a Google Assistant, and obviously the multi-room subscription. You can either subscribe to the $15 one, cast-only one, or you can subscribe to another Foxtel outlet in your house. And then you can go in another room with your Google Chromecast, and obviously your Google Assistant, and it's basically a hands-free experience. And it's really cool, that means you've got no remote, you basically just ask Google, basically if you want to play The Walking Dead, go to Fox 8, go to um, any channel on Foxtel. So it's really simple on how to do it. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in today's video. Now, there is a lot of confusion with this. Um, at the moment, it doesn't run the best. It gets confused really, really fast. And I'm going to just explain what not to say to it to confuse it. Okay, so first of all, you're going to have to have your um, Chromecast linked up and also your uh, um, Assistant linked up. If you don't have those linked up properly, you're going to have to unlink your Foxtel Go. Now, to link the Foxtel Go, you need to go onto the Google Home app, then click on the plus button. There's going to be like a little plus button on the left-hand side. Click on videos and photos and then just sign in with your Foxtel subscription. Again, if you log in with your Foxtel subscription, right and you don't have multi-room it's not going to work it's going to give you an error so basically you'll have to call foxtel subscribe to your foxtel multi-room and then you'll have to sign out it's a bit of a ridiculous process sign out of what you just linked in and log back into the google home app with your foxtel um, account right there now another thing that really does confuse it this took me an hour and a half to work out what was going on um, if you open it up on your iPad or you're opening it up somewhere else on the Foxtel Go app and then you close the app on the iPad and try to ask Google to play it, it will say too many devices are using Foxtel Go. And the way to fix that is you have to unplug your Google Assistant and unplug the Google Chromecast. So out of all that, if you do avoid most of those things, the app actually runs pretty well. And we're gonna show you how it all runs in today's video. So you're gonna have no remote, you can change the volume with your voice. Um, it's really simple on how to do it. And I'll have a few screenshots at the beginning of the video showing you how to actually link up your Foxtel Go um, onto the Chromecast and obviously your Google Assistant. So let's get into it. So first of all, you can ask Google an easy prompt. Now, a few channels that will get confused about. So for example, if you say Fox 8, it's going to want to try to get you to sign into Spotify. Spotify for some reason, not too sure why it does it. So Fox say mm, isn't the best one to do. So we're going to show you a few commands that do work. Um, the first one that I always find to get us in works 100% all the time is if we say, hey Google, play Fox Showcase. Okay, playing Fox Showcase on House TV. And that should launch it up. So you'll get the cast and then it's going to start to play whatever's on Fox Showcase. Hey Google, pause. So as you see, it's really um, easy to really go onto the live experience. You can pause up to 30 minutes um, while you're doing this. And again, there's no remotes, there's no phones. Um, all you need is your Chromecast and your Google Assistant and it's so hands-free. It's really cool and you can even change the channel. So for example, if we change it to, um, hey Google, change the channel to Fox Funny. I look for Fox Funny on Foxtel, but it either isn't available or can't be played right now. So that's one of the errors too. It doesn't recognize Fox Funny. So some channels it won't recognize, which is a little bit of annoying. Okay, so we'll try another channel. I haven't tested all these yet, I've only tested a few. So we'll try another one. Hey Google. Change the channel to Sky News. Okay, Sky News. So there you go. TV. That one works. So it's going to get, as you see, it's still a little error. It's going to the UK one right there. So that's Sky News um, UK. Hey Google, change the channel to Fox 8. Okay, Fox 8. News on House TV. So it doesn't recognize Fox 8 either, it only recognizes Fox News. So it can be a little confusing and a little annoying when you use it. And um, we'll show you one other channel that we can go to. Hey, that's because of, hey Google, change the channel to Arena. Sorry, I don't understand. So it doesn't recognize that one either. Hey Google, change the channels to Fox Tell Movies Greats. 
on the website foxtel.com.au. So as you see, it gets a little bit confused sometimes, and if it gets confused quite a lot, it's going to start to read you an article over on the Foxtel site. Um, so now we've done that, showed you basically how to change the channels. It wouldn't work for Arena for some reason. Again, it is a bit buggy at the moment. It doesn't recognize a lot of the channels, um, which can be a little frustrating when you are on here. But if you do give it a few times and try it out, try maybe a different channel, it does eventually work. But I've been having issues like once I got Fox 8 to work, um, but then sometimes it, it just plays Fox News or I'll play the complete opposite of what you've asked. So now we're gonna show you how to actually play the on-demand part, obviously on your Foxtel Go subscription. So instead of um, watching live channels, how to watch it on-demand, so that's really easy too. Hey Google, play The Walking Dead. To play that, you need to have a premium subscription. So with that one there, I forgot about that, Walking Dead, for some reason it says premium subscription. However, if we ask for Westworld, it will come right up, even though it's on the same package. Hey Google, play Westworld. Okay, Westworld from Foxtel, so it, it, playing on House TV. It honestly doesn't make sense, and as you see, there's Sorry, an error. Something went wrong. When you're ready, give it another try. So sometimes when you ask for certain content, there's an error, but there's some sort of error right there. So we'll try another show um, that is available, so... Let's try a movie. Hey Google, play Home Alone. I understood, play Home Alone song. Is that right? No. Okay, I wasn't sure. So as you see, it's getting a little bit confused right there. So now let's try to find some accounts that is available on demand. I believe Game of Thrones should work. Hey Google, play Game of Thrones. To play that, you need to have a premium subscription. So I'm not too sure what it means, why it keeps bringing up this premium subscription, uh, because we actually are on the premium subscription right here. So it does get a little confused um, sometimes, which is a little bit annoying how it does do this. Um, again, it is very hit and miss. It sort of works sometimes, and then other times it won't work, and then it's really annoying how it does work. But if you just want it for live channels, it honestly does do the job. So we'll try another show that we'll try to get, get through. Um, hey Google, play Modern Family. Sure, Modern Family from Foxtel, playing on House TV. Sorry, something went wrong. So at the moment it's- ready, give it another try. So at the moment it's having a severe issue with um, playing the on-demand content. Now, a way to fix this, which we are gonna quickly do um, before we end the video, we're gonna just um, reboot everything and see if it will start playing on-demand content. So yep, I'm just booting it up right now, so it all should turn on any second as soon as the time pops up on the screen, and then we'll try and ask it another command. So the big question is, is it worth paying the extra $15 a month or the extra 25? Now, it is very useful if you can actually, especially what I like using it for, just asking it to play like Fox 8, Fox Movies, um, something like that, it is really good. However, there is a lot of errors when you wanna play on demand, um, and there can be significant amount of errors. So that's something you're gonna to have to think about. Foxtel may fix this in the future, but it is a very buggy at the moment. Um, so that is one disappointing thing with this whole, uh, with the Google Chromecast and Google Assistant. There's a little buggy, but it still does do the job when it wants to. So we're gonna try it one more time. I wanna show you what does actually work on, on demand. I did do it once on with on demand, off camera, and it worked perfectly. But when I've got camera on, it doesn't wanna do it for me. So let's try it again. So this one I just tried before, and it did work off camera. So let's hope it works on camera. Hey Google, play Selling Houses Australia. Selling Houses Australia from Foxtel, playing on House TV. So that should play with no problem. Sorry, and as you see, went wrong. When you're ready, give it another try. So we're getting another error right there. So that should not come up. For some reason, that keeps popping up right there. Um, it's having some sort of glitch. And this is what happens sometimes with the, um, when you cast it, well not cast it, use it through the Google Home um, Assistant and obviously use it through your Chromecast. So we'll try and play another live channel, but let's see if that works, because I just showed you that before. Hey Google, play, s hey Google, play Fox Sci-Fi. 
I looked for Fox Sci-Fi on Foxtel, but it either isn't available or can't be played right now. Now, because that was a rebranded channel, it's not going to recognize the new channel. So it may recognize if I just say Sci-Fi. Hey, Google, play Sci-Fi. Sorry, I couldn't find any Sci-Fi news right no. now. So I can't find that either. So let's try. Hey, Google, change the channel to MTV. I look for MTV on Foxtel, but it either isn't available or can't be played right now. So as you see, it still doesn't want to play that channel. It doesn't recognize it on the app, so we'll try another one. Hey Google, change the channel to Foxtel Movies Comedy. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that yet. So I can't find that one either. Hey Google, play Fox Sci-Fi. I look for Fox Sci-Fi on Foxtel. Hey Google. There isn't a Play Fox Showcase. All right, Fox Showcase. So TV. it understands what Fox Showcase is, but it doesn't recognize many other channels. And as you see, it's happy to play that clearly, but if we ask it to play Selling Houses Australia, it doesn't want to do it. Hey Google, play Selling Houses Australia. All right, Selling Houses Australia so, from Foxtel. Third time, on yeah. TV. And as Sorry, you see, something went wrong. it doesn't want to play this. So it does work for live TV. It can work hit and miss. Um, and on demand mm, is hit and miss as well. It can work. And at the moment, we're getting an error. Sadly, it doesn't want to work right there. But I did want to give you a bit of an idea how it all works. And it is a thing if you did want to take advantage of it. But it is very buggy and it doesn't sort of work at the moment. It only works when it wants to. So if this video helped you guys out at all, let us know down below. And we do apologize that it wasn't performing as best as it could um, right there, so we do apologize for that. But um, yeah, if you've got any questions down below, let us know as well, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.